Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Prime, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. Now, before we get started, like always, I have little announcements and things to do like that. Uh, I got a little thing in the mail today, and it's amazing. It's got, the, hold on, oh, I've got to cover everything up. It's got a little Steam, or Stream, Streamlabs logo on there, and this is the thing that I've been waiting for, the thing that I've been telling you guys about, um, and I wanted to show it to you. Where's the thing? Hold on. There we go. Uh, no, not that one. That's this one. So fade, 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 fade. Just so you know what I'm about to reveal to you, you can actually purchase. This is not ASMR. <laughs> no, this is amazing. I uh, I took one look at it and I'm like, oh, I got I gotta put this back because it was too awesome. Let me just hold on. That's the receipt and. Oh, upside down, upside down, hold on. Oh no, hold on, you can't see it, because it's, it's green, so it's like green screened. Oh my gosh, what? Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I do the, here we go, um, and Logitech filters. Chroma key off. There we go. Okay, and fade, 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 fade. There it is. That is the 10 by 10 poster. And it is amazing. It's like, it's a very soft matte design. It's not glossy. So um, I'm going to unfold this and, and I'm going to get it to flatten out. And then I'm going to hang this in my cubicle at work because I don't want my kids messing it up. Anyhow, <laughs> I showed it to my kids and they're like, oh, we want one. I'm like, I know, because it's so amazing and awesome. So, hold on. Uh, go back over here. Fade, 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 fade. Um, right click, Logitech, filters, back on. Oh, there we go. Oh, that feels a feels hundred times better. Anyhow, what I wanted to tell you guys is there's a hundred of these and after they're sold, they're gone. Um, this is this is to celebrate the 100,000 subscriber special. Um, they are $23 um, from the store, and it's streamlabs.com forward slash Heath Haskins forward slash hashtag forward slash merch. Like I said, they're this is it. Like after I hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm pulling these off. So even if we don't sell the 100, like these will never be sold again. So this is like the one time that I'm actually going to push for this to say, hey, this is the thing the celebration the one thing that I'm doing before actually adding merch to the the steam store and I was I was really surprised at like how well it turned out because I was really worried that it was going to be like all digitized and stuff like that but I used um I used uh vert vertex not vertex um the the design that I used on the the paintings and stuff actually turned out really well. like it's really detailed see this but it's it's not pixelated at all it's beautiful but anyhow there you go that's that's the thing uh, that I wanted to show you guys um, hold up where is that and fade 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 oh I've already got people lined up uh, the other thing that I wanted to say was oh gosh get that out of here um, the book the book announcement, um, you guys, I guess some of you didn't see it or weren't told about it, but the winner has been chosen. His name is Bradley L. Bradley L. So congratulations once again to Bradley L. I have gotten in contact um, with them, him, and they uh, they have sent me the address and I'm going to get it out to them and we're, I'm going to do my best to like get it shipped as fast as possible. So thank you once again. Uh, to you and congratulations. I'm like super excited that you won, by the way, just because of the situation and everything. Um, okay, <laughs> let's go play some Lumber Tycoon 2. Fade, 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 fade. Back over to here, and what have you guys been doing to me? Okay, so what is that? Bacon Queen! Welcome, Bacon Queen! I had somebody asking questions about uh, the t shirts in, um, it, like, which ones are mine? The ones that are mine are the ones that say designed or created by Code Priming. Um, so if you go to buy a shirt, 
make sure that you you buy the actual like authenticated authenticate authenticated that the authentic one if not that's fine too i mean if you as long as you're wearing my face on a t-shirt and you found it cheaper or you made it yourself go for it all right um i also give you 100 percent permission to use my logo any way you want if you want to go and make your own poster do it do it i i give you permission under creative commons that says that that is my image and i give you permission to use it however you like you may do so Okay, so this is this is like my little boop release to you. The only thing that um, Creative Commons says is that um, you cannot resell it. Okay, you can't claim it as your own and like make a thousand posters and say, "Hey, here's a uh, Code Primate poster official," and then sell it. That's the only thing you can't do. You can you can charge for the cost of the materials. So, for example, um, if if you make a poster and it costs you five dollars to create that poster. You can sell that poster for five dollars as long as there's a zero profit margin. Okay, I, I don't know. I don't know if you guys know about common Creative Commons or not, but by all means, if you want a birthday cake and you want to slap my face on it, go for it. Okay, I give you permission. In fact, like mark this video so you have my permissions later on. Um, but yeah, yeah, go for it. Hi. <laughs> Bacon Queen, where are you going? Chasing you down. Okay. Um, I did want to come over here. Hold on. Let's let's do this real quick. Uh, oh, do I have? I do. Okay. I've got a I, I've got a truck. I'm just gonna take a truck over, and I'm gonna purchase some hands, and we're gonna get started back in on this. By the way, the wires have been fixed. Uh, I know a lot of you were concerned yesterday. There was. There was a good 12 to 24 hour period where the wires and the neons were not working. Um, there is a second revert form just specifically for wires. So if you saved your base for some reason within that 24 hours and all of your wires are gone, head over to my Discord, look in the important information and there's a form that you can fill out. Just make sure that you don't build on your base. Thank you so much, Plaza Annie. <clears throat> Plaza Annie for subscribing. Um, just make sure that you head over there and fill out the form. And that's it. That's, that's it. I mean, there's no ifs, ands, buts about it. You fill out the form, you'll get your wires back. Mm. If you lost them. Yeah, so I want to expand my line. Come on, Reuven. Reuverian. Very elevator music, elevator music in Ruben's house. That's not what I wanted. Hold on. There we go. Purchase there. Are you sure? Want to purchase there? Yes. I want to purchase right there. I'm just going to do the outside. Mm hmm. I want to purchase this one. You already have land. I want to expand. And not there. But there. There we go. Purchased. Purchased. Yeah, I purchased. Uh, by the way, I saw a golden present of some kind. Um, I won't say where, how, or who, but it uh, got leaked that there was another kind of present. Um, uh, and, and I won't go into details because I don't know. I don't know if it's an actual thing or if it was just like a Photoshop thing. But put it this way: if it's real, if it's real, oh, that's going to be awesome. <clears throat> yes, I do. I choose this last piece of land, please. Last one. There we go. Oh, well, not that one. There we go. Purchase there. Dun and dun. Woo! Thanks, Ruben. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. I didn't know Reuven had an accent. That's awesome. That's glorious. Okay, now what all have I been reverted to? Okay, yeah, it looks like... Is this flat? Yeah, these are flat. So, I should be able to... Hi! Hello, Jaden Yuki. What's up, buddy? Get off my property! <laughs> Just kidding. Come on up. Come on in. It's cool. Uh, actually, 
You know what? I've always wanted, but I've never sat and created a coffee pot. I should go make a coffee pot. Just saying. Because, I mean, it's one of the things that advocate is my coffee because it, like, controls my ADHD and everything. Which, um, for any of you new viewers that are watching, if you did not know, I do have ADHD, which is Attention Deficit Hyper Disorder. And it makes me very interesting. <laughs> um, not, not weird or um, a lot of the things that like the stereotype ADHD gets associated with. Um, because I've, I've learned to ignore what others say. Um, just... I want you to know that, like, I do have ADHD. It's very noticeable in my job. It's very noticeable amongst my family. And it's very noticeable amongst my kids. Uh, here, let's just put these last two out of there. Are there two of them? Yeah, that's fine. Um, ADHD is not curable. It's There's no fix for ADHD. So I don't want you to think that, oh, well, why can't you just take some medication and be done with it? It's, it doesn't work like that. Um, ADHD is permanent, and it's going to be with me for the rest of my life. Um, and I'm okay with it. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, you suffer from ADHD? I'm like, no, I enjoy every second of my ADHD. Um, there are some moments, and sometimes I get very frustrated with myself. And that's okay. Wait, did I just destroy that? No! Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, cool. Um, but for the most part, I I really do. I think ADHD is an amazing, awesome gift. And I kind of wish everybody knew the experience of what ADHD felt like. And the only thing I can think of is it just... It's... <laughs> Dude! I love how you presented that. That is awesome. If you wish, I'm gonna help. Just let me know. Uh, thank you. And I appreciate it. But due to recent, re recent events, I will take a polite pass. You can hang out though. Faces. We can we can still hang out and chat if you want to, okay, if, if that's cool with you. Because <laughs> I can't understandable. Uh, yeah, and that's that's because the yesterday's video and everything else. And I mean, it still other stuff could still happen. Um, but I'm I'm not gonna be whitelisting for quite some time. Oh, my oh. oh. Sorry, I thought I was about to sneeze, but apparently not. <laughs> It, like, started for a second. Nope, we're good. I think. I'll let you know. If it comes back, I'll, I'll, I'll mute, it, mute it or something. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Don't you hate it when, like, one side of your nostril gets clogged and the, the other side is just... That's no, no problem on that side. Just... I can't breathe out the left nostril, so if I sound a little bit nasally, I do apologize. Um, anyhow, <laughs> ADHD. Uh, mm. So, the next question is, why does coffee help me? Um, the, what did that do? The main reason coffee actually helps me is because it is a stimulant. Um, coffee itself is a psychoactive, um, psychoactive drug. And now don't, don't take that the wrong way. Like, ah, oh, drugs, they keep the cans of drugs, dare. No, um, it's, it is a plant-based, um, chemical m molecule that attaches to the receptors of the brain to cause them to fire more rapidly. Um, of course, with anybody, uh, any human that drinks coffee, you would be more stimulated. You would have faster synapses inside your brain. You would have 
um, quicker thinking, stuff like that. Um, that's not to say it affects everybody the same. And that's because, um, because I have ADHD and I drink coffee, it will actually calm me down and it will cause me to get sleepy, which is also why I can drink coffee all the way up until I go to bed. And if I haven't had coffee before going to sleep, uh, I usually become restless, which is kind of counterintuitive to what coffee does, but, uh, and sugar is not the same. Okay. Sugar will still get me wired. I'll be like, ooh, a kind of candy bar. And so don't think of sugar and caffeine in the same context. Um, a lot of people get mixed up like, oh, just feed them some chocolate. No, mm, no. Um, <laughs> that is ac actually very inaccurate. And not everybody with ADHD reacts to caffeine the same way that I do. Um, I just happen to find that the majority of people that have attention deficit hybrid disorder tend to fall into the same category as me as far as stimulants. And the only reason, um, if you guys haven't seen my, um, my video, um, 5,000 subscriber special where I talk about, um, my mother finding out about the ADHD and she was a teacher trained to look for the signs of it and everything else. But because of my well-manneredness and because of my scores and my grades and everything else, because she's a, she was a teacher and she helped me a lot to the point that it hid the fact that I had ADHD. Um, this was both good and bad because um, I was able to pretend and to hide it so well, um, I didn't get help until high school. Um, people in middle school and elementary just thought I was weird and they could tell I mean if you're if you're watching this right now and you went to high school or you went to middle school or you went to elementary with me um, you can absolutely comment down below weirdo <laughs> and I would be 100% oh, okay with it uh, but then this, that's another story for another time so um, because my mother helped me so much and because I was so well behaved, the, the good little heat that I was that, um, you know, it did hide it, it actually set me back in the long run. Um, if I had just been diagnosed and given some kind of medication early, I also don't think I would have discovered um, what a tremendous power it is over the normal human brain. Um, do I think it's like a, a version of evolution where humans are going to be all ADHD in the future? No. I think it became more prevalent and more talked about, more recognized uh, during my time. I also believe that it was highly misdiagnosed. I mean, young boy with energetic mind goes crazy and, and doesn't want to sit still in class. No, um, that is not what this is. ADHD, when you have, it's like, it's like trying to listen to someone while there's rock and roll music going on in the background. If you are not interested in it, or if it's not an interesting subject, it, it is so hard to concentrate. And what's even worse is how hard it is to remember. Um, which is also why I found memory tricks and little things that help me cue when I need to remember something. One of the biggest things that I found, and this is, this is human psychology versus um, mind tricks. Human psychology, you don't remember somebody's name. And a lot of the times, nobody remembers somebody's name. I mean, how many times have you called a, a help desk or spoken with a, a sales rep or something like that <clears throat> and you remembered their name right off the bat? Like, boom, remembered. One thing I do mentally inside my head whenever I'm talking to somebody on the phone or whenever I'm talking to them in person is the first thing in my head is I try and catch their name because I'm going to use it again. And... The impression that just mentioning somebody's name later on gives to somebody. Like, 
It's that, oh my gosh, you remember my name. Or you said my name in a sentence later on. <coughs> um, something else that's kind of fun is like just looking at somebody's name tag and being like, Jeffrey. <laughs> so like a, a cashier checking out, right? And cash credit and blah, 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 whatever it is. And then you take it and you're like, thanks, Jeffrey. And you, you go to walk off and just nonchalantly and they're like, thank you, dude. Like, boom, it's just this huge, you can see people light up whenever they do that. And that's because a lot of people just don't pay attention. And it's something that I've had to force over the years. A lot of different things uh, have been just learned techniques. Um, learning to cope with my ADHD. Um, learning that my mind does work faster than it's supposed to. And that's to the point that it becomes a hindrance. Um, there's sometimes I just need to, I need to slow myself down and say, you know what? I need to absolutely concentrate on this thing that I'm learning or this thing that I'm doing. And I will notice that um, if I'm writing down a number and it's a very large number or it doesn't really have to be that big of a number. I did it, I do like triple checking myself. I've, I've found I will look at the number and then I'm writing the number and I'll have to look at it like at least two to three times if it's something important. If it's something not very important and like it's it's not like a combination to a password of, of Fort Knox or something like that. And then, I mean, I'm just all over it. I'm just saying, like, whatever. That's also why whenever you see comments of people correcting other people inside the, com the comment section, like you said you're not your, and you see me kind of go off on them. Like who cares? I, r I really don't care if you use the word Y-O-U-R or if you use the word Y-O-U. R E with an apostrophe. Either way, I knew what you meant. It's fine. I just, oh, it's one of those little pet peeves of somebody correcting spelling. And that's not to say spelling's not important, okay? Don't get me wrong, I'm not getting on to you. But not in my comment section, please. Yeah, there's, there's plenty of other places. You wanna go, like, be a document signer or something like that, then go do that. Not in the comment section. Especially of my YouTube channel. Go away. <laughs> oh, what's up, Major? Wait, what's, what's going on? Queen, where are you? Yeah, I got one pink and the one behind you. How far along? I'm like 23 minutes into the video and already going off on, on a, a tangent. That's okay. I, I, I think... I think I've made my point plenty of times about ADHD and how I feel about um, mental disorders in general. And not just mental disorders, mental handicaps as well. Um, some of my nicest friends growing up in middle school, high school had, uh, had Down syndrome. And I couldn't play with them like normal kids because I mean, they, their, their moms would be suspicious and stuff like that. Um, they'd be like, "Why, why do you want to hang out with them?" And it, that, that hurt so much. Like, um, there was one boy. I had given an invitation to. He was in my classroom, um, and I'll just call him Timothy. And. Timothy, it, I had uh, my birthday at Aladdin's Castle. If you guys know what Aladdin's Castle is, awesome arcade place. In fact, I would love to see a recreation of Aladdin's Castle inside uh, Roblox. Anyhow, long story short, um, Timothy's mother came up to my mom at the birthday party. He had brought a gift. It was a little Nerf um, bow and arrow, which, by the way, was like one of my coolest gifts that I got that day. Um, and my mom came up to me after the birthday party and asked me, did you give it to him as a joke? I 
I didn't understand what she meant. Because I I liked Tim. I thought he was an amazing person. And um, after I realized what she meant, I guess his mother was concerned that somebody had might have given him one of my annotations and not just as a prank to him but a prank to me and that hurt so I still, to this day, don't really know how to process that. Anyhow. Needless to say, he had a great time at the birthday party. I loved having him there, and we actually got to hang out and we played, uh, oh, what was it? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He was Donatello. I was Leonardo. No, no, no. I was Donatello. He was Leonardo. Um, I think Michael, Mike, blonde Mike. I don't remember his name. He played Michelangelo and then uh, Alan. <laughs> that, actually, the best man at my wedding. Uh, Alan got to play uh, Raphael. And it was the first arcade game that had four players to it. Uh, you could, uh, it, it, it was all in like a circle and it had dual screens and it was just amazing. And then there was another one, the second one that we ever played that had uh, the dual screens on it was um, X Men. And I always, always played as Nightcrawler. That was, I was. I loved Nightcrawler, my favorite X-Men, just because of his teleportation powers and stuff like that. And you know, you, you make up your own rules whenever you get one of the action figures and start playing. Maybe that's why I like Roblox so much. It's this amazing place where I can come in and be my own action figure. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great analogy. Um, one of the reasons I really like this is because I can go and be a pirate. I can go and be a lumberjack and build amazingness and play with blocks. <laughs> um, I don't ever expect myself to uh, grow up. And I hope you guys don't either. Uh, don't expect me to grow up. <laughs> you, can, you can grow up if you want. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to the parents too. If you if you guys want to grow up, that's fine. I don't mind. But uh, I think that's something that was just lost as people grow. The playfulness, the imagination, the ability to create as well as you did. Oh gosh. <clears throat> Because how many business meetings have unicorns in them? Seriously. <laughs> now don't get me wrong. There's probably a couple of business businesses out there that that's what you guys talk about. Party favors and stuff like that. So which color unicorn are we going to have this year, boss? Uh, let's go with the uh, this purple. I like the purple ones. Purple's in. Pink, you're out this year. Oh, man. <clears throat> I think I've wasted enough of your guys' this time. Well, it's never it's never a waste of time whenever I'm coming in here and talking and playing and just hanging out with you guys. So thank you for listening to my stories. And thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for being here. Um, Three-fourths of the side's done. <laughs> I'm close. I'm close, but not, not quite done. I'll probably continue this on and just keep building. And I hope that these little stories have uh, helped you throughout the day. If, uh, if 
anybody's made fun of you or if you've had um, a rough day of any kind, I hope for the last 30 minutes I have absolutely been a distraction to your reality. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Hold on. Let me get up here. Stand beside her. There you go, Bacon Queen. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things. Again, don't forget that this, this poster, 100, 100 subscriber special poster that, that disappears with green screens. Um, it's, there's, like I said, there's only 100 of them. And after 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to take them down. And that's going to be the last of those posters ever. Um, I, I will not sell that again. Um, by the way, it looks very similar to the poster that you can purchase inside the game Tree Lands. That's what I was trying to go for, was that whole weird green background kind of thing. So, love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. <laughs> Outro.